you know, the climate has been extremely dynamic. dynamic. That's the thing we have to emphasize all by itself without any help from humans. And this is what I've been saying is that we have to look at that and, and realize that, yeah, humans are a factor. You know, somebody I did post and said all the other factors I had mentioned as, you know, ocean currents and wind currents and geomagnetic field and cosmic rays and volcanism and all that had all been investigated and dismissed. And the only thing left was the human contribution. To me, that's really we're putting all our eggs in that basket. And that could turn out to be very dangerous because we're so focused now on our own contribution that we might be overlooking the fact that there have been natural factors driving climate change over and over and over again. I mean, because I still have not heard any consensus on what has caused the planet to first go into an ice age and come back out of an ice age. And I think that what Graham and I are talking about actually presents a, a possible solution to what could have brought this planet out of the ice age, something on a grand cosmic scale. We have to realize that it's part of a cosmic ecosystem. And the cosmos has been a much bigger player in what's been going on down here than has been previously understood or appreciated. Yeah.